Okay, today I just wanted to go over uh, the specific functions for the ThinkCar wireless dongle. So first, in this first screen, we have the dashboard. And on the dashboard, it's going to show temperature and even voltage. And if you were driving the vehicle, it would show the miles per hour, the speed. In the bottom, you're going to have the engine running temperature and also show you the throttle position uh, the percent in percentage. So next, we're going to go over the next function. So it's going to be OBD2 functions. From here, we'll just select next. Once the dongle is connected, it'll start communicating. Once it's communicating, it'll initialize. It's going to recognize the protocol. Once the protocol is uh, connected, it's going to populate the VIN. It's going to show whether or not there's a check engine light. It's going to show the number of DTCs in the ECU, uh, number of radiators monitors completed, the ones that are not completed, and uh, just show you the, the type of protocol. So from here, we're going to select OK. And from here, we can select to read the IM readiness monitors, live data, freeze frame data, uh, fault codes, and even clear codes. And you can even read the vehicle information, as, such as the VIN. So next, we're going to select the next function, which will be a full scan. So from here, we're going to select next and it's going to auto populate the VIN so like today we're working on a 2014 uh, Ford Escape recognizes the VIN next it's going to initialize and here it's going to do a complete scan a vehicle specific VIN specific scan and it's going to go through every possible combination of modules and if the module is not present on this vehicle it just won't be highlighted and it won't have a, a bright green circle which you'll see in a few few seconds so as it initializes, it's going to go through the system scan. After the system starts scanning, it's going to recognize the modules. And if it recognizes the modules and the vehicle's equipped, then it'll have a green circle. And like I said before, if it doesn't have that specific module for this vehicle, it'll still try and scan for it, but it just it won't be uh, highlighted and it won't have a green circle right next to it. So after it goes through and does this complete scan, you'll be able to have uh, two options. So you could go through and if there happens to be a, a code, then the code will, you could, you could do a, a clear of the code. And if it doesn't have a code or you just want to generate a report, then you have the option of generating the report and you could share it via email or um, any different options with the third, uh, third party app. So here, as I said, it's going through all the modules, and these are the previous modules that it scanned. And once it completes doing the full complete scan, we're able to access those two options. So here, as it's finishing up, Here's the, the health report generated after, and as you can see, if it has a code in the, in the module, it'll, sh it'll represent it in red, and everything else is represented in blue if there's no code. And from here, you generate a report, been specific, time and date stamped. It shows you where the code is located, if there's a code in the module. And from here at the very top, you could share it email, message, or any third party application. Or you could choose to clear the codes from here. So next, we'll go over real time diagnostics. So from here it gives you a step by step and what you could basically do is you could, you connect the, the wireless dongle, you go on the remote diagnostic and if you know someone that maybe isn't local to you and uh, you go on there and it's going to generate a code by clicking the real-time remote diagnostic. The end user will um, log on to www.mythinkcar.com and we'll go into click real-time remote diagnostics and we'll, we'll input that code so that the remote diagnostics could, could begin communicating. So we can go on here, click start, and it'll generate that code. And that's the code that the 
the um, other technician will input. Very simple. And also the last option is the black box option. So when you go into this function, it'll allow you to choose the different frame rate, whether it be five or 10, um, for the frame rate that it's gonna be saving the information as the vehicle is, uh, is on and communicating. And from here, you just select start. And it'll be able to track all the vehicle information. Next, we also have um, social media based, um, pretty much like forum, where you could ask a question. Um, you, if someone else is on here and they ask a question and, and you have the answer to it, then you could uh, quickly access this. Basically a, a community um, to help everyone out. So from here you have the main page, you have stuff that's hot spots like are trending, and also shows who you're following. And that's basically it.